Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all in your science class. We are studying unit number 4, States of Matter, Melting and Freezing. And today our topic is Freezing. Before starting our new topic, let's have a quick recap of our previous lesson. What happens when solids are heated? Solid changes into its liquid phase when we heat the solids. And a process in which solid changes into its liquid state is called melting. And melting point is the temperature at which solid changes into its liquid phase. We also uh, learn about the new uh, term that is sublimation. Sublimation is actually a process in which solid directly changes into its vapor form when we heat that solid without undergoing its uh, going through its liquid state. That process is called sublimation. That was all about the recap. Now let's start our lesson freezing. Now what is freezing? Freezing is actually the reverse of melting. In melting a solid changes into liquid phase. The reverse of melting is freezing. In freezing the liquid changes into solid phase. The process in which a liquid changes into solid is called as freezing. And freezing uh, the liquid actually what happens the liquid loses heat to become a solid so it's a reverse of the melting for example when we uh, uh, when we cool down the water it changes into its solid form that is ice actually what happens the molecules of the water loses heat that's why they changes into the solid state Freezing point. Freezing point is actually a temperature at which liquid changes into its solid form. For example, the freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius. At 0 degree Celsius, water changes into its solid state that is ice. So that temperature at which a liquid changes into its solid state is called as freezing point. Freezing and usually Freezing and melting points are same for the substance. What is the reason? The reason is that because this temperature is a transition temperature. Because in, in this temperature, substances change their state. Substance change their state. For example, if, a, uh, if there you have a water in you have water in liquid form at 0 degree Celsius, it changes into solid form so that will be the freezing point of water but if you have water in solid state at zero degree celsius it changes into its liquid form so we call it as the melting point of the water or ice so uh, usually substances have same melting and freezing points so that's all about the today's lesson in which we have studied that freezing is the reverse of melting. Freezing is the a process in which liquid changes into its solid state and freezing point is a temperature at which is liquid changes into the solid state. And usually substances have same melting and freezing points. Now the home task for you is you have to read book page number 67 and 68. You have to find that what is the normal freezing point of water. Why do many water pipes burst during winter? It's a, uh, you can search for this question on internet. It's an important question. What is the basic difference between melting and freezing of an object? And you also have to define the freezing point. That's all. Abu Day's lesson. Take care. Allah Hafiz.